Memorizing tons of facts and formula was painful and made me wonder if there is an easier way to help our brain retain information faster and better. Hi, The Lonely Buccaneer here. In this video, we are discussing tricks to remember names and faces, memorize facts and how the memory palace will change the way you memorize things. Ideas from the book Moonwalking with Einstein, The Art and Science of Remembering Anything by Joshua Farr. Did you know that rote memorization is the worst way to memorize things? It's long, it's boring, and no one likes repeating the same thing over and over again. And the same goes for a brain. If it doesn't like it, it won't hold it. Our brain usually remember things that are different, that involves emotions. For example, we remember the moment we fall in love, or the moment we first ride a bicycle, because we were full of joy and positive emotion. Trick 1. Make associations with the person name and face. To make a person's name less abstract and more memorable, you can relate his name with something that you already know. Here's an example. If I were to meet someone named Adam in a networking event, to make him more memorable, I would see him as Adam Smith, the English economist with a white wig and hair rolled on the side of his head, while speaking with a fancy British accent. Trick 2. Use imaginations to remember facts. Change the sound of each word into image, emotion, odor, or even sound. Let's say I'm trying to remember all the carpal bones of a human hand for a medical class. It goes like this. Scaphoid, lunate, triquedral, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and ami. A simple way to do it is to change the first letter of each word into something funny and easier to remember. In this case, if we take each of the first letter and change it to a memorable thing, it would be some lovers try positions that they can't handle. And then actually imagine a couple trying a weird position, something that no couple ever attempt, whatever that is, and end up getting stuck in that position. It was something so impossible that they end up calling for help. The scene will certainly be glued in your mind. So the last thing to do is to recall and replace each of the first letters by its original word. The third trick is the memory palace. The trick is to imagine a place and store idea inside of it. First, pick a place that you know well, such as your house or street that you often walk. Then populate it with unique, funny and crazy image that represent each of the things that you want to remember. Here's an example for history class. To remember the year 1492 when Columbus discovered America. I would remember it as my little cousin who is 14 and my great grandmother who is 92 holding hand standing in a bathtub selling straight at my front door. Next, 1776, the American Independence Day. I would illustrate it as the basketball team, the 76ers of Philadelphia playing on Highway 17 in California for the American flag. And the whole scene happens in my living room. Don't ask me how. The last step to recall information. So, I will imagine myself going to my front door and seeing the first image. And when I enter the house and go for the living room, I will see the second image. The cool thing about the memory palace is that you can use it for any idea, as many as you want, and the only limit is your imagination. Let's recap. To improve memory, use association with familiar things and add plenty of emotions. Usually sexy and funny things can also help to improve memorization. Finally, store those ideas in the memory palace to recall them easily. The Verdict It's a very fun book to read. There are plenty of memory tricks for all kinds of situations. So for even more insight, check out the book. And as always, if you liked the video, please subscribe, share, like, and I hope I brought you one step closer to your brighter self.